Thank you for purchasing our Game to PC pack. It's the most inexpensive way of recording gaming action from your Nintendo Wii, Xbox 360 or Sony PS3 to your computer. We use um, the standard composite leads that come with all three of the consoles just mentioned. If you're currently using an Xbox or PS3 over a HDMI connection, you'll need to dig out the uh, yellow, red and white cable that came with it. And uh, this diagram shows, here's the AV cable running from your console. Uh, we provide you with these three splitters. We provide you with this two meter long lead that then connects through to your TV and you change on the remote to uh, the AV input on the back. Um, and the splitters also take the video and audio signals into the uh, USB video grabber which plugs into a spare port on your PC. Your PC needs to be less than five years old. Any PC of that spec will be able to cope with um, the uh, demands of the video grabber. In the next section I'll show you how to install the uh, software. When you insert the silver CD that comes with the kit, you'll be presented with this autoplay dialog and you want to choose slcdmenu.exe and then you're presented with the uh, menu with a number of choices. So first of all you want to install the driver. This is before you attach the USB device to the PC. You also want to install the uh, Arcsoft Showbiz software. This is what we're using to capture video and also to edit out bits that we don't require. You also want to install the Handbrake software. Once we've captured video using Showbiz we'll uh, bring it into Handbrake and we'll use Handbrake to deinterlace the video and to trim off any black borders that there may be around the edges of the video. Um, if the game is sort of presented in widescreen, this this is obviously a necessary step because you'll have black borders at the top and bottom. Um, you can also um, export from Handbrake in a number of different file formats. So you can export as uh, MPEG-4 or H.264. Um, and then once the, uh, the video has been prepped in that way, it can then be um, uploaded to a YouTube, or Facebook, whatever you want to do with it. Um, VLC Media Player is a free video player. We prefer it to the Microsoft product that comes in Windows. So uh, in the demo, we'll be using this to play back the clips we've recorded and show you um, the, the various stages of editing, deinterlacing, uh, and trimming the borders. Um, here you've got a backup copy of the uh, instructions. Uh, which is useful if you lose the printed ones that we've sent you with the kit. You can always print out another set from here. And obviously here is the video that you're watching at the moment. Um, so in the next stage we'll we'll just quickly go through and install each piece of this software. Okay, so now I'm quickly going to install each uh, component here. Basically just accepting all the default values saying yes whenever asked. Okay, so that's the driver installed. Now at the moment you haven't got the USB device plugged in. If you have, you should unplug it. I'm not going to restart the computer now. We'll do that in a minute. Next we'll install the uh, show, Arcsoft Showbiz video editing software. The serial number for this is on the uh, back of the paper CD sleeve. If you have any problems interpreting the serial number, just email tim at trcomputers.co.uk and we'll, we'll email you another one back. We have plenty of spare ones. Take that off the screen while I enter the serial number. Just 
Just accept all the default values. Okay, so we click finish. So we've now installed the driver and showbiz. Now we're going to install Handbrake, which is the conversion software. That's done. Now we install VLC player. finish so that's all the software installed now in the next section I'll show you how to plug in the USB device uh, and correct the audio driver if you're using Windows 7 or uh, Vista 64 bit okay so now now we've installed all the software the drivers and we're about to plug in the USB video grabber device so I'm going to do that now familiar bing bong and in the bottom right of the screen you'll see installing device driver software click for status so if we click on that we can see what's happening okay so I'm using Windows 7 64 bit and if you're using any version of Windows 7 or 64-bit Vista you're gonna see a similar picture to here so it's installed the video devices but it's had a problem loading the audio de device if you're using Windows XP um, the device that's loaded here should be fine uh, and also if you're using Vista 32-bit you'll be fine um, so because this is Windows 7 I'm gonna show you how now to um, correct the audio driver so if you click on close and then bring up control panel And we go over to device manager. Okay, and you can see here USB EMP audio device. Now what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of this. So we're going to choose uninstall. And we're going to tick this box that says delete the driver software for this device. Now just before I click OK, I'm going to un unplug the power to my internet router. This will stop it going back on the internet when we reboot in a minute and finding this driver again. What we're expecting to see is just USB audio device here. Once that's done and we can verify that, then we can go on and capture audio and video at the same time using the software. So if you unplug your um, internet cable now and then click on OK, Okay, so the machine's just finished rebooting uh, and it's detected uh, correctly now the USB audio device. I've still got the internet unplugged. Um, so if we just bring up control panel, I can check that everything's correct in there now. Go back into device manager. And we see, yes, we've got the video device and we've got the audio device and they're both working perfectly. Okay, so before we launch the ArcSoft Showbiz Capture software, we just need to um, mentally check that we've got all the connections correct uh, from the console that we're using. So here's the picture again showing how everything's connected up. Now, if you're using uh, a Nintendo, you're only going to have this lead as an option with yellow um, 
red and white. If you're using an Xbox, when you unplug the HDMI lead and plug in the AV lead instead, it will automatically flick across to it. If you have a Sony PS3, it won't. So what you want to do is, while you still have the PS3 plugged into your HD TV using the HDMI lead, you need to go into the menus and tell it that you're going to shortly be using the AV cable instead. Um, so here's a short video that I made showing that in action. And we also tell you exactly what to do in the instructions as well. Uh, so I'll just play this. Okay, so you do that before you connect it up to our AV lead and then you'll be able to see it on the TV and um, using the AV connection and also on the computer. You only need to do that step on the PS3, everything else is automatic. Okay, so next we'll bring up the Arc Soft Showbiz software. Okay, so now everything's all connected up correctly. Uh, we can bring up the ArcSoft Showbiz software that we use to make the recording. The three main sections here, Capture, Edit and Produce. So first off we can go to Capture. Okay, and we need to just check that all the settings on your screen match these. So WDM2861 Capture Device could also say USB2861, either would be fine. Um, because we're using the yellow video input, you want to select composite input in this box. Um, it's quite important that you select line USB audio device. If you've got it set to the um, sound card in your PC, it might say real tech or something there and you'll you'll want to change it. Uh, master volume is fine. If we click on device settings. You want to set it to uh, PAL-I if you're recording um, there we go, pal is the standard setting. The setting was on a second ago, NTSC 433. Um, I had to use that when recording from an Xbox 360 um, for a game that wanted to be in PAL 60 mode. So if you see a game saying, I want to be in PAL 60 mode, you've got to go in that mode. You, you want to change it to NTSC 433 on here to record it properly. You'll still see the picture probably, but it'd be black and white or blurred or something like that. But for nearly everything, you you want this set on PAL I. Um, there are a few other adjustments you can make, but they're just you know personal preferences. Okay, so that's fine. So um, what I'll do is I'll turn off this microphone in a minute and I'll show you a, a recording screen. Um, that I made earlier if I was actually recording a game here and then I'll, I'll come back after you've seen the recording. Thanks. Time to choose your first car. Any of these will be competitive.
Okay, so we've recorded some motor racing on the Xbox 360, playing uh, the Forza 3 game. Uh, we had to change the uh, device setting to NTSC 433 to record from that, because it's a PAL 60 game. So um, it now appears, I've gone into the edit screen now, and the clip that we've just recorded appears here. So if I drag it down onto the storyboard, um, we can then play about with it and edit it. So um, let's first play it just to make sure I've got what I want. Okay, so that's fine. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to edit out some bits at the beginning and the end that we don't want, and then we'll uh, produce the file and then we'll take it into a piece of software called Handbrake and we'll trim off these black borders from the top and bottom so it's more of a widescreen effect and we'll also deinterlace it which means um, in fast moving scenes you see black blurry lines around the edges of objects uh, you'll see that quite a lot on YouTube on game videos that haven't been deinterlaced and by taking it through this process it makes it all nice and smooth so first of all let's just chop out bits from the beginning and end that we don't want so we click on this um, multi-trim tool here. Okay, you can see there are a few bits at the beginning of the video that I'm not really bothered about. I just want the start of the race and the end of the race. Okay, All right. So we'll make that the start. So uh, let's see, mark in and go back. Click mark out. So we've cut out that section. That's gone. There's the beginning of the race. There we go, that's done. Okay, so that bit's cut out. This bit's cut out. It's just the main video, so click on OK. fine okay so um, in a second we'll go to the produce screen okay so here we are in the produce screen so you've got various options um, you could upload the video how it is right now to YouTube if you wish but really you know you will want to uh, deinterlace and take off any um, borders using the handbrake software that's what I'd recommend you you get a, a better um, finished file as well um, this is quite a rough and ready processing option okay so we don't want to create a DVD we might do if it was a, a home video of the family or something so we're going to create a file take it into handbrake and then upload it to YouTube so we'll click create file okay so file needs to appear in that box file format in this box leave the format as mpeg2 you want to set high quality which is going to give us this 1280 by 720 file so it's going to upscale it basically um, and here's where it's going to save the file so let's just call that uh, test 6 dot mpg make it easy to find okay so click on start this will very much depend on the speed of your PC how quickly this happens and also um, how many minutes of video you've recorded okay so that's complete so um, now we can open up that file in handbrake we'll do that in a second Okay, before we open the uh, test 6 video file in Handbrake to convert it, let's just have a quick look what it looks like played in VLC Media Player before we've made any adjustments. Okay, so you can see at the moment you've got black borders at the top and the bottom and the left and the right, so they'll be being trimmed off in a second. It 
may not now need the interlacing but I'll show you how to do that anyway so that's coming up in a second okay so we'll bring up handbrake choose the source file here video file scroll down to test 6 need to set a default path because we've only just installed the software So you can see now it's uh, loaded in the file. It's decided that it wants to crop off uh, something from the sides and the top and the bottom, which is correct. Um, under video filters here, if you turn deinterlace to slower, that will um, take longer to process to deinterlace it, but it, it will get any jagged lines off the video from fast moving scenes. Uh, H264, that's fine, that's a good codec. Um, okay, so we're ready to process it, we need to give it a destination. So, uh, call it test 7. Okay, um, so we can start it processing. Okay, so that's now finished processing, so we can play that back and have a see how that looks. Okay, so let's uh, launch VLC Media Player. And open uh, Test 6, which will be in videos. Sorry, Test 7. Now this has been upscaled a bit by the um, um, Arcsoft software. So if if you preferred it to have actually been the natural resolution, you didn't need to do the uh, produce step in Arcsoft. You could have just lifted the uh, captured video file out from um, the videos folder on your hard drive and just brought that straight into. Um, straight into the uh, handbrake software. I'm sure you'll agree it looks pretty clear um, and all the borders have been trimmed off and it has been deinterlaced. It wasn't obvious that it needed it but it has now so um, there should be no fuzziness around the edges of objects. So that's really all you need to know. I mean you, you could upload this video now to uh, YouTube or you could uh, you know uh, use handbrake again to make it smaller or uh, larger um, it, it's not a proper HD capture but it's been upscaled so it's bigger than it would be as standard before the end of the video I'll show you some examples of captures from um, the uh, the Wii and um, the PS3 also just so uh, and just discuss a few points about those okay thanks